Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we're kind of doing a vlog. So hope you enjoy and yeah. Today, we're actually starting the vlog a little bit later. It's actually, I think, nearly 4.30, I think. So um, to be honest, for most of the morning, I've actually just been lying in bed and just watching YouTube, which is a bit bad. And I looked on my time thing and it said like four hours. Like even though like in between, I was like having a break because I think I watched a little bit, made breakfast and then I watched a bit more. And then yeah, so I think now I am need to get back on track, start getting some stuff done. Cause I've got a quite big to-do list. So as you probably can see, I've just washed my hair. So um, this is a head towel, so excuse that. Um, Yeah, I'm just gonna wear it for a while until my hair dries. So yeah, I just had a shower and then I actually plucked my eyebrows and they look much better. So yeah, I'm just kind of gonna do a mixture of pampering myself and also getting some to-do list stuff done. So. Okay, I'm currently balancing you on a half open drawer on my desk, so <laughs> hopefully you stay there. So actually currently, I'll just quickly go through the classic um, Heather to-do list. So I um, actually wrote this yesterday. Um, yeah, so I think today I'll try and give you guys a few tips and tricks on um, how to just get going if you're being a bit lazy in the morning and just how to turn your day around so then you're not really having a full day of being lazy, which is actually all right because, yeah, because I think in our society lately, probably the maybe 2019 and maybe even in 2018, probably the whole productivity videos kind of came about on YouTube, even though there was probably a few beforehand, but probably 2019 was the year of like get productive with me and that sort of um, video. So probably lately we've probably been really fixated on getting lots of stuff done, hustling, being productive all the time. And then in reality, you can't really be productive all the time. So that causes people to burn out. That's why quite a lot of YouTubers um, and also to like normal people too, because I last year, probably for a good period of time, I think I was really burnt out like halfway through the year. It's good to like also relax too. So having some relaxed time and then also being productive. So that's what I'm trying to do today. So I did have a pretty lazy morning this morning. So hopefully for the next few hours before I go to bed tonight, I can get a bit of stuff done. So if you're in this scenario, like you've written like quite a long to-do list. So I'm just gonna get this typo notebook, which it's kind of a mixture of things and it's so sad I'm nearly running out of page. I think in this notebook I'm just gonna write a few things maybe like my top priority stuff that I want to get done today so that's probably tidying my room and then I really want to foam roll and stretch because I don't really it's weird lately I haven't really been doing it a lot which is a bit bad and then I'm actually gonna do a face mask and kind of more beauty stuff so I'm just gonna and that sort of stuff. And that's a bit bad. I probably should do the hardest things first. But just because of today. Because I want to get some stuff ticked off. I think I might. Because I've got a bit of English homework. So you have to like write a story. So I'm just going to read over that. And see if it's good. And then print it out. And stick it in my English book. And then I think I might try and get some maths done because it's a bit bad. I've piled up like a heap of maths homework. Also too, it's very sad. I've got I've technically four assessments, but only really three um, assessment notifications that I've already received, which is very sad. So I think I'm actually going to try and work on my geography assessment. And then I'm going to practice my flute. And then I think maybe the final thing that I'll have is trying to edit and hopefully upload the new sister videos. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to try and get done today. And then if I can get more done, then great. But I think these things I want to try and get most of it done. I think now, um, oh yeah. So I think I'll just show you guys two. I think in previous videos I've shown you this, but I do this thing called an action plan for my assessment. So um, it's just basically a big to-do list and, and so what I have to do in the assessment and also kind of do it in um, smaller steps. Cause I think with me, the hardest part for starting an assessment or starting to study is actually starting. So like, um, where do I start? So I just kind of write through this and honestly, sometimes I don't really follow it, but just kind of makes it a bit easier. Like saying, oh yeah, this assessment isn't too hard. Just have to do this and then I'm done. So 
Um, yeah, that's so what I thought I'd show you guys. Um, what I kind of mainly want to show you guys when I decided I'll film again um, is these calendars I print out. So I actually got this idea from Rachella, and I feel like I always mention her channel name. So if you haven't already, go subscribe to her because she's a definitely really good YouTuber. Yeah, so this is probably where I get most of my pro productivity tips and that sort of stuff from. So if you guys didn't know, you can actually print out a calendar from the Apple Calendar app, which I did not know. So unfortunately, though, you can't, I don't think you can print it off from your phone or your iPad, but yeah, so only the computer, I think. But yeah, it's really cool because you can customize it. Um, So I just kind of explain what I do. So in red, I've always done this, and even in my um school diary, which is here, which I won't show you because it's got um my school logo and stuff on it. But um, yeah, so I do write the um due date, then when I want to study in um pencil. So then if I decide, oh, actually, I don't want to do that on that day, then I can just rub it out and switch it to another day. And also too, because I actually do have a few assessments due. So as you can probably see on the weekends, I do have two to three um, four, <laughs> big jump, um, two to four, um, subjects that I can study, because I feel like on the weekends, I probably do have more time to do study stuff, but yeah, so that's my plan, and also too, on this post-it note, so this is for the remainder, so, um, Sunday tomorrow, and then for the following week, so I just wrote a bit of a study plan, because I actually haven't printed out February, because as you guys know, if you've seen our Christmas haul video, definitely go check it out if you're still in the Christmasy mood and want to watch a haul video. Josie gave me this very cute Harry Potter calendar, but unfortunately, it doesn't really have a lot of space on it, so that's why I decided this year, I think I'll start printing it out so I can have a bit more space to write stuff. So yeah, I've got a mixture of calendars. Yeah, Um. so I think now, I actually can't want to film this too, Um. my mum actually got these shorts, but she said they don't really fit her anymore, or she doesn't really like them, so I'm going to try them on and see if they actually look good and i'll film myself if it looks good on but yeah so i'm just gonna try this on and see if it okay guys so i tried them on and excuse the top this is probably not the best top to actually wear with these shorts but yeah these are like some longer golf ones and they actually do fit pretty well so i think i will be actually keeping these so that's good because so um yeah this is my golf drawer so these are like where all my pants are and then all my tops so that's good i've got another pair of pants because you can see it's pretty black and white so um hey everyone um so today is monday and i'm pretty sure heather started off the vlog maybe a few days ago so i'm gonna keep on going because heather's at school today and i do online school if you don't know so yeah so it is 9 38 and i just had a shower and just kind of like clean myself wash my hair and everything so now i'm going to wash my sheets today because i have like monday as my like sheet washing day <laughs> um so yeah And a little while ago, I just got back home from school. And Josie today, she actually vlogged a bit more from the other day. I think I vlogged was on Saturday. So I thought I'd continue it on again. So today, I kind of got a bit of homework. So like the usual, I go through my to-do list. So I have a history presentation. And then I already printed out um, this like homework that I did today in my free period. But tonight, I've got to bring the English book home. That I can stick it in so I think I'll just have to do that at school and then just reading a couple of chapters of The Great Gatsby, doing some maths flashcards, doing an exercise from those maths flashcards, hopefully practicing my flute 
and then uh, planning my geography assessment which is due in a couple of weeks and then making school brekkie and then having a shower stretching and foam rolling and then maybe doing a workout too if I've got time but yeah so yeah quite a lot to do so I think now I might actually I might actually go downstairs so I'll come back but yeah, go downstairs and get the sheets that I have to get from the printer <laughs> Okay, so I got it. Yeah, I just printed it out. So I'm just gonna put that in my school diary. Probably one thing about year 11 I'm really excited about and still currently excited about is having free periods. Cause I remember last year and it's a bit bad if you're, um, yeah, don't do this, but um, last year I like twisted my ankle in PHP. So then um, yeah, I was like super sore and I didn't really want to like hurt it again. So. I probably like a good few weeks yeah I had it off so I'll just go in the library and just work on assessments or do homework and I was like oh I really like this but it's good now I actually have proper free periods so every week I've got three um free periods so that's good I can work on homework and yeah it was really good so I got that English stuff done so I think now probably better work on the history homework so sorry guys if i'm like chatting and then i'm looking at something else hey guys so it's a bit later now and sorry with my hair it's like really messy <laughs> i need to um go and brush it properly but um it's a bit later now it's currently 7 24 and i had dinner a little while ago and sorry guys i always feel like i kind of keep filming at my desk and i don't really show meals and stuff but yeah i do eat so um yeah um my dad he actually made like this big soup i'm um, using our old vegetables and that sort of stuff that need to get eaten and yeah it was very nice and then i had a bit of a toasty with it too so yeah it's very yummy so so yeah i actually made my breakfast for school because just recently i haven't really been like massively like hungry and also too because with school we have like very weird and also late um, like recess and lunchtime. So recess we have at 11 and then lunch at 1.30. So it gets very late. So like when always school goes back, my like digestive system and metabolism goes very weird. Yeah, it's all messed up. So that's caused me in the mornings not to be very hungry. So I just make a smoothie. So I have like a banana or it's normally peanut butter, but I don't have peanut butter. And then a few powders, a bit of honey, and then almond milk or whatever um, plant-based milk that I have. And yeah, that's my breakfast and it's very filling. And yeah, and it definitely gets me through the first two periods and then up to recess. So, so if you'd like to see like a smoothie recipe video, let us know we can do that. But yeah, that's, yeah, so I made that. So that's good. It's all ready to go for in the morning. So I think now I might because I kind of lost a bit of momentum so I think I might actually so here's my assessment notification so I won't show you because it has my school logo over it so yeah I'm just going to be writing a bit of an action plan because actually in school she kind of like showed us how we should set it out and stuff not for the action plan like the assessment so um that's good it kind of breaks it down even more so it should be easier to write this Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be notified when we post every week and occasionally on Wednesdays too. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!